be making a series of these little videos that are, you know, look what I found in the church. It's an opportunity to show off some things we don't normally talk about while maybe you're just so bored that you'll watch pointless little videos from your pastor. by the Christian Education Building. Here we go. Come with me. Come on. You're going to love this. Inside now, in the sanctuary, you can hear a little bit of echo because of the cool stone walls and the arches. That's all part of the acoustics in here. But let me show you. I'm behind, behind that big pier thing. It's where the projector is. See, there's the, there's the projector. But right in front of the projector, is this massive, massive Bible. And when I say massive, I mean it's huge. Look at my arm. That Bible is longer than my entire forearm. It sits up here on this lectern. The original vision was that the Bible would be read from here every Sunday. But logistically, that never really quite worked out. Coming up and coming back around and getting behind here and then standing in front of this great big Bible, it just never well, caught on. It was the architect's idea, uh, Charles Stead. I'll tell you more about him later. But he wanted to put this Bible here for a special reason. So when the drawings for the building in 1962 were made and the chancel drawings were made for all the furniture that sits up here in the front of the sanctuary. One of the things in those drawings was this great big Bible. Now, I'm going to close it and give you again another sense about how big this thing is. Now, hold on for a minute. I'll, I'll show you something else. I'm going to take and open this great big Bible and show you a couple of things inside here. Here's the dedication page. Look at that. Look how beautifully it's been written. This holy Bible is dedicated to the glory of God and given to the First Presbyterian Church, LaGrange, Illinois, by the Thomas B. Huck Jr. family, November 1962. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to turn a few more pages and let you catch what else is going on. It points out that it is a King James Version of the Holy Bible, and that always seems oddly redundant to me. Is there also a King James unholy Bible? I don't know. I haven't seen one. Containing the Old and New Testaments translated from the original tongues with the former translations uh, diligently compared and revised. And of course, uh, down here we have the Cleveland and New York, the World Publishing Company, and there's uh, 19, uh, what is that, 69, 59. 19, anyway, eh, somebody who knows their Roman, Roman numerals faster, um, I think, no, that's 1949, X-L-I-X, 49, hmm. kind of cool. And then all of the classic dedications that went with the King James Bible and the translations for the readers and uh, all of the other forwarding parts. But this particular Bible was given to our church and published and put together in this massive form for us to be able to have in our worship. I'm going to show you one more thing before I leave the chancel. Anybody who's been in here for worship knows what that is. That's our Gabriel Loire window. Uh, the name, by the way, is pronounced the same way as the Loire Valley in France, where some fairly decent wine comes from. But if we move down from that window, look what we see. There we go in the centerpiece. There's the candle that burns during our worship services, and right over that candle is that magnificent Huck Gift Bible. It's reminding us of the center of Scripture, enlightened by the beautiful color and light from above, and the focal point of all that we do. And of course, there are other pieces in here but that candle rests on the communion table that reminds us of the communion of saints and our shared fellowship. Um, but there's other stuff I'm going to show you before we're done, but I think that's enough for today.